Hey guys, what's happening? DX Pork here with you. Today we're going to take a look at a new weapon that I picked up. This is uh, not going to be a full review because there's there's so many of these out there. I'm just basically going to show you what I picked up. Go over a few points with it. First off, I want to say that this was not the primary choice, but it was on the list of future guns to pick up. I tried my hardest for months to pick up a Ruger SR 1911. For a gun that's been out since April of last year, it's probably one of the hardest weapons to find. I made hundreds of calls with no success. He even tried to trade uh, 23 Mr. Cowboys out of his. He wouldn't come off with it. Tried my hollow point. He wouldn't come off of his. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, ended up calling Ruger, and they're like, you know, it's a, a four-month waiting period. They only make like 50 a day. So, I got tired of waiting, so I went ahead and picked another one that was on my list and as you can tell by the box went with the Springfield XDM we're just going to do a a uh, quick look at it and then hopefully tomorrow I'll get out to the range and uh, give this thing a, a once over you got your basic all your XD stuff registration card NRA if you're not a member of NRA shame on you then it goes over what the M factor is in the new model for the XDM on the inside we have the standard XD2 magazines, the weapon, the spent cartridge, lock, and for some reason they send you a magazine pouch that holds two. This is the only problem I have with Springfield. Why only send two mags if you're going to send a double mag pouch holder? You got a slot right here already cut out of the foam for a third magazine, why don't you just go ahead and throw us a third magazine in there? I mean, it's already cut out. All you have to do is sling another one in there. See? That's what it looks like. So, I went ahead and bought an extra one just in case. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that slot up. I like to have at least three magazines with my firearms, so I went ahead and picked one up at Midway. This particular uh, XD comes with adjustable back straps. They're, they're labeled 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to assume 1, small, 2, medium, 3, large. Then it comes with a uh, paddle holster with a, a retention adjustment on it and the speed loader, which are pretty much useless with all these guns to come out with. But we'll take a quick closer look at it. Move this box out of the way. As you can tell, went with the bitone. Really dig the bitone. Okay, sorry about that, guys. The battery died. Go figure. Try to pick up where we left off. Um, for all you safety sallies, it is empty. But this one's not, and I feel safe. But uh, just a quick look at it. Like I said, I'm not going to do a full review because there's so many of them out there. As you can tell, went with the Bitone. It's the XDM40 in the 4.5. Just a few of the, the basic things. Of course, you got the front and rear sight. That gives a really good sight picture, in my opinion. It's easy to acquire. Um, it's got the front and rear serrations on the slide. And it, it's I got a little untight on room here, but believe me, it is. It is easy to use the front or the rear, either one. Um, got a little rail or accessories for uh, light or whatever. Um, got the grooved trigger guard. It's got what they're calling a USA trigger system. It's the Ultra Safety Assurance trigger system. It's got a target trigger in it, match grade barrel. Uh, it's got uh, ambidextrous magazine release. Really dig that. Easy Glide magazine. Of course, it's got the interchangeable back straps, as I mentioned. Simply push that pin out. It's like a 332nd pin. And uh, you tilt that at like 45 degrees, and that strap comes out. I've actually had the medium in it. That's what came in it. And like the Glock, I don't really like the, the hump back here. So I put the small on there, and it feels 10 times better. Got the thumb rest on it. Thumb fits in there nicely. Grip safety. A lot of people don't like this. It never bothered me, but that's the uh, striker indicator that you know when you're cocked and ready to roll. 
Uh, it does come with the uh, striker block for drop safety purposes. Got a loaded chamber indicator, Springfield uh, emblem on the top. I really dig XT, like I said. So I'm really excited. Can't wait to get out and shoot this. But uh, like I said, I'm not going to do a full blown review because there's just too many out there and much better than I can do with it. I just wanted to show you my new toy. Let you know about my disgust over the Ruger. It's still on the list. Hopefully this summer they'll they'll free some of them up. But uh, like I said, tomorrow's Saturday and hopefully we're going to get to go out to the range and see what this baby will do. I don't anticipate any problems whatsoever because I had such great success with the other two XDs. But you guys take care. God bless. It is what it is. First shots with the XDM40. Okay, not too bad. First 50 rounds with XDM40. I like it. It's going to be a keeper, I believe. 